Canada is the second highest prescriber of opioid medications in the world. I think that there's an urgency for policymakers and regulatory bodies to do something to address the risks that attach to prescribing medications like opioids and sedatives. People talk about the opioid crisis, but there's really at least two crises going on. The average physician can't do much about the fentanyl poisoning crisis on the street, but to the extent that doctors have contributed to the rise in opioid prescribing in Canada, we have an absolute obligation to do something to change that. We need to be clear that this standard does not apply to patients with active cancer, to patients at the end of their lives, to patients with substance use disorder that are on opioid agonist treatment. Greater clarity is provided on dosages, tapering, and discontinuing these high-risk medications. The college doesn't set limits or absolutes on prescribing. The college does ask physicians to initiate these medications after they've completed proper assessments, after they've held and documented discussions with patients. This standard is aimed at primary prevention. We're talking about patients being able to access timely, effective, and appropriate medications from the onset of their condition. Physicians ask and some are worried that their licenses will be suspended if they prescribe these medications. I can tell you that that is absolutely not true. If you have interaction with the college or the prescription review program, you will find that it is collegial, educational, remedial. The safe prescribing standard does not prohibit the prescription of opioids and sedatives. It makes their prescribing safer.